Tonight's Kane's presentation is about a 30-year-old couple who is suffering from acute on chronic matrimonial fever. This condition is complicated by their uh, offshore studies, at most complicated by significant connectivity issues. These guys are sparking, high voltage, and could not be kept apart. We are one, every thought and sign, with our forgotten name. We left home on the open road to find a holy flame. When Devon asked, uh, what kind of a person should I marry, Dad? I said to her, well, number one, it's important to find a person who works around the house. Second, it's important to find a person who makes you laugh. Third, Devon, it's important to find a person who's dependable. Fourth, it's important to find someone who you like to do physical activities with. Most important, Devon, make sure all these four people never meet. But Devon replied, Dad, Jacques has got all those qualities in one person. And in addition, he's kind, he's trustworthy, he's passionate, and I love him. I didn't trim the fat, I'm just going to say it all. Oh, not. You and I met in Australia. We were a short ferry ride away from each other for most of our lives and decided to travel all the way across the world just to meet up for a meet and greet barbecue. I gave her my top move, the shy but dare I say sexy wave. It goes a little something like this. It's classic, it works every time. You've kept me on my heels for nearly six years now. There's not a dull moment whether I like it or not. I generally want to hang out with you every second of every day. Where we heard the sound. I call upon those persons present to witness that I, Jacques, take you, Devon, to be my lawful wedded wife, my life partner, and my one true love. I will cherish our union and love you more each day than I did the day before. I will cherish our union and love it you each day more than I, <laughs> than I did before. I'll dumb it down. Yeah. <laughs> Slow it down a little, thank you. <laughs> I loved your card. Did you? I, I thought I was going to be way too jerky. I read the first line and I cried. I was like, <laughs> oh, what, are, what a bum. He knows me too well. I was like, couldn't even get me the card. Dear Devin, quick, put a smile on your face. You might be on camera. Gotcha. Isn't it crazy how fast the time has gone? Just yesterday, I was giving you the motivational speech about exams, and now I'm marrying the girl of my dreams. There isn't a dull moment with you, and for that I'm grateful. Let's make this weekend something special. Wipe those tears. Put on your dancing shoes. Our lives start now. I love you with all my heart. I give you my hand. I give you my hand. My heart and my love. My heart and my love. From this day forward. From this day forward. Until my dying breath. Until my dying breath. You are my love, you are my life. You are my love and you are my life. <laughs> my dearest love, our story has been my most favorite adventure story I've ever known. Unknowing to each other, we both packed our bags, kissed our loved ones goodbye, and traveled across the world to begin a new life in a faraway place. Stepping onto the plane, headed one way to Australia, I've never felt so scared and unsure in my life. Soon after I arrived, I met you and experienced an overwhelming sense of comfort. You felt like home. There's so many different adventures 
that are out there waiting for us. I'm so excited to see where this world will take us. I will always be home wherever I am with you. Love you always, Devin. Far less jokey than mine. <laughs> That's beautiful. <laughs> I like haven't cried and then everything came at once. I was like, you can't do that at all. <laughs>